Well, this is Randall Soul with Remodeler Biz, and we are in Atlanta today at the Southern Building Show 2010, and I have with me Clay Nelson, who is a well-known life coach, planning expert, and mediator. His company is Clay Nelson of Clay Nelson Life Balance. Clay's enthusiasm and optimism for life is reported to be contagious, and I <laughs> hope some of you catch that today. Cool. Clay, tell us a little bit about your background and your business experience and what makes you tick. Yeah, well, I, I, my dad was a general contractor for uh, 68 years, and I was a general nail belt wearing contractor for 14 and a half years. And um, I wanted to make sure that people had a better life in contracting than I did with my dad. I mean, God bless my dad. I love him to death, but all he wanted to do was work, 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 work. And we never did do much anything else but work, work, work. His idea of a vacation was going, finding a small house to remodel, and <laughs> we remodeled it. So, and I wanted to fish and go skiing and doing all kinds of things. And I figured, you know, maybe it's time I start teaching that. So, um, I started a consulting business way back when in the DOS days. You know, teaching people how to use computer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, way back when in the DOS back. days, and teaching people how to use. Uh, you know financial systems and how to use a computer and quite frankly how to have family and how to have fun in one of the greatest businesses in the world and that's the construction business and that's how it got started right on. yeah you just finished giving a seminar on replacing the irreplaceable yeah. you yeah and I, I really think this is one of the most prominent problems that remodelers face now mm -hmm. is being able to delegate and what advice could you give to a remodeler who wants to take off his tool belt but feels that no one can live up to his standards? Well, it's twofold. One, with the economy changing, and I know a lot of folks out there are saying, what economy, what changing? And it is changing, it is getting better, things are growing. And with the workforce getting to be, the majority of the workforce is white hairs, and uh, they have to learn to teach what they know because they just can't bend over and do it all anymore. That's right. So it's all about finding somebody that's willing to learn what you know how to do. Now, that's in the workforce. Now, in the management side of the company, is if right now you own a company and it's time for you to take a look at you know what the next two or three years are going to bring, what you're going to find is, is that you have to replace you just about everywhere that you're working now. Uh, in management, in uh, time accounting, in estimating, in financial reports, you have to replace you. It can't be just a one-man show anymore because you've got to be the visionary. In the next two or three years, I'll probably get in trouble saying this, but in the next two or three years, <laughs> I say, I say there's, the boom's going to hit again. And most folks are going to be able to make as much money in the next two and a half to three years they've made in their entire careers. So you've got to learn how to manage that. So you have to, one, Write the plan for where you're going to be two or three years from now. And I'm talking about the owner. I'm talking about the person that now has all the responsibility and the nail belt. Okay. And if you're going to take the nail belt off, you know, how are you going to replace that which the nail belt did, number one? And then two, how are you going to find out what you don't know real quick on paper, not in working the business? So it's, you've got to write the plan. That's so true, and, and I can speak from experience. It's one of the hardest things in the world to do. Um, well, you got to get committed. And, and you uh, got, <laughs> you're big on this. You, you, you have got, to get well, committed. You have to get committed, and, you, and it's like you can't really be in a place where you really know how to do this or really know what to do. You just have to get committed that you know the next 10 years isn't going to be you know like the last two years. Right. A lot of remodelers just have small companies because they aren't able to delegate yeah. and therefore they can't grow. And what advice would you give to a remodeler who's trying to break the gravitational pull and grow his company to the next level? A number one, first and foremost, is write the business plan. Now you can either get my how to write a business plan book or somebody else's, I don't care whose you use. I mean, everybody's how to write a business plan book says, buy my book, I'm the one, mine's different, and we're not. Yeah, all, I've, all the, I've used yours and it's good, yeah, it's all the, right on. Yeah, all the books say the same thing. Now, the key to writing down what you know is it gives you what you don't know about what you're writing. So the, the job of, a, of someone nowadays is to absolutely understand that you want to find out what you don't know on paper, not in your checkbook. So that's what they've got to do, is write mm -hmm. the plan for them not doing all the work. 
I consider communication to be one of the most important items in any company toolbox. Without a good business process, which has to include guidelines for communication, a company can't hope to excel. So how can a business improve its ability to communicate with its staff, customer, trades, and its vendors? Mm. And this goes worldwide, not just the construction business, not just clients, not just coworkers, not just trade contractors, is that whoever is speaking, that person has to, respons- has to be responsible for what the listener, the person they're speaking to, what they get and what they understand. So whenever, whenever anybody's talking, I don't care whether you're the CEO of the company, I don't care whether you're the financial advisor, I don't care whether you're just a foreman, not just, but a foreman on the job, uh, your job is to make sure that that which you spoke is understood by those that you speak it to. If people will do that, things will get done without misunderstandings. You know, I think we all assume that everyone knows what we're saying. And, yep. And from experience, it is not true. Yep. You can say it ten times and draw it out sometimes, and they don't know what you're saying. That's right. So... So it's all about the speaker being responsible for what the listener gets. And everybody says, well, gosh, I just don't have time for that. Well, respectfully, if you took the time to make sure that who you're speaking to understands, you won't have to take the time to redo it four times. So it works out great. I always like the way you you use respectfully and you, you ask permission to speak to a person sure because you really get their attention that way sure and you also get their respect yeah and it's, it's not about better than it's not about having a bigger title it's not about being paid more it's all about building a family that gets the job done so you can be with the real family right on okay well clay thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me i really appreciate this and i i think the audience on remodelerbiz.com will enjoy what you have told us today and and they'll get a little dose of your unstoppableness and your enthusiasm because you are the most enthusiastic person that i know (laughs) and uh, we appreciate your proven guidelines to success and wish you every happiness as you continue to teach all of us to have a better life. Oh, you're very welcome. And please go to my website, go to www.claynelsonlifebalance.com and go to the free page. There's a ton of things that the construction industry can use. There's all kinds of things about business plan writing. There's all kinds of things about marketing. There's the ebook. There's all the CDs. There's tons of stuff. A lot of it's for free. Someone has a minimal charge. But, you know, it's all about making your life work, making other lives work. Very good. Well, this is Randall Solo signing off for remodelerbiz.com. This has been a recorded interview with Clay Nelson of Clay Nelson Lifestyle.